The situation in Myanmar continues to worsen, with one of the bloodiest protests taking place over the weekend. On Saturday, two more people were killed by police as protesters continue to demand the release of Aung San Suu Kyi and other political leaders who've been detained. And for more on this and other news from around the world, we have Choi Jung Yoon at the News Center. Jung Yoon, give us the latest on the casualties there. Mugyeon, so far at least four people have died and more than 100 have been injured since the Myanmar military took over the country at the beginning of February. Two deaths on Saturday came from protests in Myanmar's second largest city, Mandalay, in the worst violence yet following more than two weeks of demonstrations where the police have used tear gas and water cannons as well as live ammunition. Local reports say one of the people killed was an 18-year-old boy who was shot in the head and the other, a 36-year-old carpenter who took a bullet to his chest and died from the wound later. On the same day, an anti-junta militia member was shot dead in the city of Yangon. All this comes just one day after the fourth death from the capital city, Nepito, on Friday. A young woman who'd been shot by the police and had been left brain dead. The military junta has yet to comment on the deaths. One local association supporting political prisoners say some 570 people have been detained since the coup started as of Friday.